Hi, and thanks for watching this second part. Uh, this is kind of optional for you to watch, but again, it is really good that you get more practice. And if we were in school, we would have done these on the board together. So let's just jump right in. So for number five, I always set myself up two sets parentheses, whatever this variable is, it goes in the beginning of each. Multiply to get four, subtract to get three. Now again, we're multiplying actually to get a negative four, so I know I'm having to use both signs, a plus and a minus. Multiply to get four, so that's gonna be a three, four, and a one, I had that three in my head, and a two times two, and we're subtracting to get three, well that's it, four minus one will give you three. Since we have one of each sign, that's a positive three, the positive goes with the bigger number, so it'll be plus four and minus one. Number six. So I move over here and set myself up, two sets of parentheses, x and x, um, I'm multiplying to get a negative, so I know I have one of each sign, and I'm multiplying to get 30. So 30 is one times 30. If the numbers don't come to you, remember, you can always use your calculator. Oops. So we can do, um, 30 divided by 2, it's 2 times 15, 30 divided by 3, 3 times 10, and then I do know that 5 and 6 is another pair of numbers. So now I'm multiplying to get 30, subtracting these guys to get x. Well, when there's no number, no coefficient of x, write in the 1. That understood one, so right in the one, so now we know that we're subtracting to get one. Here's that pair of numbers. Five and six will subtract to give you one, and it's a positive one, so the positive goes with the larger number, goes with the six minus five. You can always, if you want to, foil or multiply these out, double distribute, and you will get back to your original. Number seven. Let's see that better. Two sets of parentheses, x in the beginning of each. We're multiplying to get a positive 18. Two ways to multiply to get a positive. You can either multiply a positive times a positive or a negative times a negative. Now, since we're combining to get a negative 9, well, the only choice for us is a negative times a negative. Two of the same sign when you multiply to get a positive number. So now we're multiplying to get 18, adding, still adding, to get 9. So that's 18 and 1, 2 and 9, 3 and 6, well, there it is. That's how I can add to get 9, minus 3, minus 6. This guy over here, two sets, parentheses, x in the beginning of each, multiplying to get a positive 42, so I know my signs are the same. When I combine, I get a negative, well that tells me they'll both be negative signs. Okay, so here I have a 42. Well, that might be one that I can't do in my head, right? So that's 1 times 42, and 2 times, well, it's even, so I know 2 goes in, right? So 42 divided by 2, is that a 42? 42 divided by 2, I need to pay attention, 21. 3, 42 divided by 3, 14. And 4 doesn't go in. 4, 5 doesn't go in. 6 does, because 2 and 3 both do, and that's 6 times 7. So... Let's check these pairs of numbers. Now we have to multiply to 42 and add these numbers to get 1. Multiply to 42 and add to get 1. Well, that's not possible. Now if I look here, I can subtract to get 1, so I'm really kind of tempted to use this pair of numbers, but the way that I would get negative one using this pair of numbers is a negative seven and a positive six. But remember, if you were to multiply negative seven times positive six, that's a negative 42. You don't have a negative 42, you have a positive 42. So we've looked at all of our pairs of numbers, none of them work, so this is prime. And it's like trying to factor 17, right, or 23, that's not going to work. Okay, so let's check out these guys down the bottom. Okay. Two sets of parentheses, x in the beginning of each, multiplying to get a negative, one of each sign, multiply to 6, subtract, to get 1. 
So that's 1 times 6, 2 times 3. Oh, there it is. That's how I can subtract and get 1. Since it's a positive 1, the plus goes with the larger number, and then the minus with the smaller number. Moving over here, two sets of parentheses. X goes in the beginning of each. We're multiplying to get a positive and combining to get a positive. Well, that's plus plus, right? Just even the way it looks. Plus, this is the only one that kind of works out so nicely the way it looks. Um, multiplying to get 6, add to get 5. Well, we already know our choices are 1 and 6 and 2 and 3. Adding to get 5, that's it. We already have our signs, so we don't even need to think about it. Down here, two sets of parentheses, x in the beginning of each. Multiply to get 6, and it's a positive 6, and we're combining or adding to get 5. Well, when you multiply to get a positive number, they're the same. Plus, plus, or minus, minus. This time we combine to get a negative, so we've got to go with minus, minus. Our numbers are 1 and 6 and 2 and 3. Those are our choices that multiply to give us 6. That's where I always start over here on the right. Possible numbers that multiply to give you this. This plus means you add. We are adding the numbers to get 5. Well, here they are. Those are the numbers that we can add to get 5. And we want to actually add and get a negative 5, negative, negative. And remember, when you multiply, that's how you get the positive. Oh, look, the minuses are already sitting there waiting. Pretend I didn't do that. There we go. And number 12. Two sets of parentheses. X in the beginning of each. Multiply to get a negative. Okay, one of each. Minus and a plus. So here's the thing. I think every time I did this so far, I made sure that I had the plus sign first. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter whether your plus or your minus term comes second or first. It just matters which number you write with the minus and the number that you write with the plus. Well, let's see. Our numbers for 6 are 1 and 6 and 2 and 3. Still. And we're multiplying to get 6. Fine. Subtract get one. Subtract to get one. Well, that's these two here. I have one of each sign, and I need a negative one. So the negative goes with the three, and the plus goes with the two. So all of these are similar in that they use the three and the two, but the signs change everything. So you have to be really careful about those signs. So hopefully this helped out a little bit.